my craziest Bollywood assignment, which still gives me the jitters, is is my first assignment ever because uh, this was a film uh, um, called Tamacha where uh, I did Kimi Katkar's clothes, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, coming from the genre of mainstream uh, garments and high fashion clothing. I mean, films was a completely different ball game for me. The first garment that was to be made was for a song. And Kimi is in this fabulous white outfit that I had designed. The minute Kimi wore the outfit, her mom called me in and she said, have you done this outfit? I said, yes. And she let go. She just let me have it. She's like, you guys come on the film scene not knowing what film clothing is all about. Technically, it was damn good. It was a great finish and everything was perfect, so what was the problem? And then when she showed it to me and, and uh, she kind of, in that spurt of anger, explained to me that, you know, film techniques are way different from mainstream clothing techniques. And uh, when I saw it, it kind of made sense. And for me, there were only two ways, either to resign prematurely as a designer, or kind of take up this as a um, challenge and see what I could do with my life. And yeah, the next day the garment shaped out really well and uh, she was pretty happy. And, and for someone who had blasted me and broken me to pieces, came across and said, you know, you'll go a long way because you've actually managed to do this overnight. In my initial phases, I think I learned a lot from Sri Devi and Sri Devi was my one point institution who taught me all about colour and techniques and everything. Every film or every project that I've done has taught me something new and having worked with almost 90 to 100 artists in the Bollywood industry and Hollywood industry I think, um, it has taught me a great deal and each one I, I share a very, very special rapport with. I was working on Jodha Akbar and I was working with Ritik and Aishwarya, two of the most gorgeous uh, people in the industry and uh, um, I had this entire group of Ashutosh's AD team who were girls and um, my assistants who were on, on set and every time Ritik had a change of an outfit he would insist that I be on set or you know and help him get into the entire look. So. Um, Every time I went in to get him ready and uh, to get him into the entire get-up, I would have all these sheepish faces around me and like, I would come out and say, what? What happened? Can we, can we come in and be with the God? It was like there were at least 10 women. And I would keep laughing and telling Ritik, I said, Ritik, there are 10 women who want to come in to dress you up and he would be most embarrassed. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, it's it's great fun to be part of the movies and I, I can't see a life without being part of the movies. I was a person who never wanted to study, who never wanted to work. And uh, my first year in college, I, I bunked both semesters till the principal had to say, I would, I'm going to call your husband and inform that, you know, you're not being serious. And from then on, getting into doing um, uh, finishing college somehow and then getting into a very serious mode of doing work and I guess it's it's uh, being able to go with the flow of life um, and being uh, observant if I had to repeat this over again I would do the same thing and enjoy every minute of it I am starting my pet project which is uh, um, the Whistling Woods Nita Lula School of Fashion uh, because I've been teaching for the last 26 to 27 years. It's a great interaction with uh, students and it, it's, it's a kind of a give and take. My um, advice to students would be that, uh, you know, there is focus, there is commitment and there's dedication that could take you and that could take your work to a boundary that you've never seen. My dream project, possibly, um, Something that I haven't done a science fiction. Transformers. I think uh, creativity is not only constricted to one area. I think creativity is an extension of yourself, 
of uh, uh, your creative talent into various spaces and uh, uh, Portico gave me this opportunity to tie up with them and extend my creativity to uh, a home space which obviously being being a woman and being a mother and uh, being a, a housewife you know I, I think that is one space that I'd really like to see beautiful the feel-good factor has seeped into everyone across any strata and across any uh, kind of city and town even the small town people want to have their houses look beautiful it's an extension of themselves and considering the kind of residential spaces that are coming up, considering the kind of uh, corporate uh, spaces that are coming up, um, home fashion has to adhere to each and everybody's needs. My home is a comfortable home. I like warm colors. I like the feeling of warmth. And I like the feeling when someone comes to my house and says, wow, what a fantastic warm feeling in your house. Right now, what we've also done is very exciting with Portico, where we've come out with a bridal line and that looks beautiful and uh, I think that bridal line took a lot of sensibilities. It was like doing a customized garment for a bride where you understood what she required, what her sensibilities were. It was like understanding what would make uh, the couple feel sensuous, what would make the couple enjoy that um, bed spread or the bed cover. It's a memory you're making for uh, the couple for their first night or for their first week and it's got to look grand, it's got to look beautiful and it's got to feel sensuous. It's a very exciting and a very different kind of a feeling that you know um, within a parameter you need to kind of uh, uh, work um, your creative talent on. Wherever there's a requirement for a creative uh, talent, yes, a lot of designers would get into it because this is an ex extension of their creativity as well. And uh, more so, I think it's gorgeous. In fact, uh, Portico has already started this trend and it's, it's really nice. Today, I thrive on what I do. I enjoy it to the hilt. And it is not only my passion, but it's also a hobby. I mean, it's my meditation, I would say. It's something that you cherish because people remember your work and uh, they like your work. And there is a kind of a, a relationship that's built over the years where uh, I think it just touches your heart. <laughs>